Russell Westbrook shoves a fan after losing at the buzzer to the Denver Nuggets and calls on the NBA to protect the players. Westbrook said it was unacceptable that a fan made his way onto the court at all. Hey everyone, welcome into the Fumble Studios in Los Angeles. I'm your host, Jessica Wills. To stay in the know about all your favorite sports teams and athletes, don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a Fumble update. The Nuggets sealed a win over the Oklahoma City Thunder with a three-point shot at the buzzer last night at home in Denver. The excitement over the conclusion of the game got this fan amped up enough to make his way onto the court and into the chest of Russell Westbrook. Take a look. You can see Westbrook push the guy away in the chest and then stand still waiting for security or help to arrive. He was not trying to escalate the situation but seemed shocked and angry that a fan was in his face. With that kind of intensity at the end of a game for a player, the fan is lucky Westbrook did not escalate that situation into a full-blown confrontation. As we all know, Westbrook is extremely passionate and emotional. It is not clear yet whether Westbrook will be fined for this, and the NBA has said they will review the incident. According to ESPN in the press conference after the game, Russell was asked if shoving the fan was the only way for him to protect himself, and Westbrook said, of course. He went on to say, you gotta be able to protect the players, man. The fans are obviously there to enjoy the game, but he can't come onto the floor. That's totally unacceptable. Which brings me to my fumble question of the day. Should Russell Westbrook be fined by the league or was the fan out of line and it's clearly a case of Russell protecting himself? Despite the 127-124 loss to the Nuggets, Westbrook finished with 20 points, 21 assists, nine rebounds, two steals, and a block. The last thing he needed was to deal with a fan who was overstepping their boundaries. Let me know your thoughts and what you would have done in this situation in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with us here at The Fumble. Be sure you like, subscribe, and comment before you go, and we'll see you next time.